Hello awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at a novella that kicks off the Ilmet in Lankmar collection that was uh, written by Fritz Lieber in, that's set in Lankmar and stars the two thieves, the Grey Mouser and Fafford uh, and so forth. This is the first uh, novella that kicks off this collection. I'm going back and rereading it. Uh, it's about 86 pages long. I split it up into two pages. I'm sorry, two, two days rather. Uh, the first day was about an hour and 20 minutes. The second day is about an hour uh, and 15 minutes to knock out this 86 page novella. So it's about it's about an hour and four, it's about two hours and 45 minutes roughly or 35 minutes roughly. Uh, your time may vary uh, to knock this out for the second time uh, a couple, over the last couple of nights for you folks. Uh, so let's So Fritz Lieber was a very, very influential writer who has a lot of Hugos during his era. He wrote a lot of science fiction and fantasy. He's one of the most beloved writers of his time, but he was very poor. Uh, he didn't make a whole lot of money during his time. Unfortunately, he just didn't get that whole thick of money. He was, you know, famously writing out of his kitchen uh, with a typewriter rather than having a study because he just didn't have the money uh, to afford despite all his accolades. Anyway, I created this series in the pulp era, uh, in a uh, in a pulp era magazine, uh, in a short story, uh, which I have reviewed for Aria. Uh, and then I have, uh, he then published this for decades, is this series that I'm going to be going back and rereading now for you folks. And so four, there's a four book uh, collection uh, that was put out there by, by Borelius Legends, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and so now I'm going to be going back and rereading uh, this collection. I, I have done some reviews of some of the short stories in here, here and there. Uh, but I haven't done sort of a really sort of a deep dive into this person who's hugely influential. He's on the you know in in science fiction and fantasy. Uh, he is uh, somebody who had lots of Hugos during his era, including this collection, uh, which will win Hugos. Also, uh, he is uh, he was uh, somebody on Appendix N for Gary Gygax in the first edition Dungeon Master's Guide uh, for the game, the role-playing game, uh, fantasy role-playing game called Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, he has a list of the most influential people and also ideas of where to go to for inspiration, and this is listed. So, for example, uh, the giant city of Lankmar is definitely copied in a lot of places in fantasy, uh, as well as the Thieves Guild that's in it. The Thieves Guild is lifted probably whole cloth from, from Lankmar, and our, and, our, and our key aspect of this sort of pre-Dungeons and Dragons uh, fantasy that definitely feels like it's very, very influential on modern fantasy. You can't read a modern-day Thieves uh, genre or Thieves Guild in fantasy without out seeing Fritz Liebers' influence. So going back and rereading this and taking another look at it, I think is a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, so let's take a look at Snow Women, this, the 86 page novella that kicks off this collection. So let's get to started. Uh, so as a reminder, keep my reviews spoiled or free. Uh, this stuff, uh, uh, oh, so so I won't be doing a deep dive into it. So I'll just be giving you the light sort of spoilers from the first little bit. Our key character is Fafford. This is where he's introduced of, of the the pair, uh, and so he's living up in the northern wastes. He's this he's this young guy, uh, and he's just turned his his teens, uh, and so forth. And so this is going to be his introduction, uh, and 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 in as a person in the area, uh, from the north, uh, in in the far north. And he's kind of like a Conan and the Barbarian, sort of a clone, if you will. It was written uh, at the same time him and him and Grey Mouser uh, as guess Conan was being published and was contemporaneous. Uh, and there are a lot of Conan clones uh, during that era because of how popular he was during Robert E. Howard's The Pulp Era. So this is a definite Conan clone, uh, if you will. Anyway, and if you recall, Conan is also a thief too. So Fafford will uh, become the thief later on. Uh, so anyway. So he starts off. He is watching. He is he's tr he's watching some people uh, in this uh, place called God's Hall, uh, and it is a place where a local fair and has come and sh showing off goods, selling things, uh, has sh has shows at the tent uh, and so forth. Uh, so we're going to start off, and, and, and it's sort of an introduction to civilization, uh, which has become clearly an obsession of Fafford for you folks. So. After the first introduction, uh, we'll be following him and, and his helping out uh, the folks. There's an attack uh, by the snow women on a, on a woman who shows there named Vlana. She is saved by Fafford, who flees uh, with them after the attack by the snow women, uh, the women who are the matriarchs, if you will, sort of uh, this civilization. Uh, anyway, and, and his Fafford's mother is one of the leaders of, these, of this group. 
Uh, so and she's a very very powerful source for us. Uh, so anyway, uh, he saves the woman, and then some snow comes on him, and he's attacked mystically, uh, and so forth. And that's about 10 or 15 pages in, uh, so I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Uh, but anyway, uh, so th again, this is Fafford's introduction into it, and this is a solo work with him. Uh, but uh, So this is fun. I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. It's definitely well written. It definitely uses its length well. It's probably a few pages too long. Uh, but it's fun. It has a fun little, about 60 or 70% of the way through it, there's a fun little concept that's definitely worth your time. Fritz Lieber never took himself too seriously. Uh, and so there's a lot of comedy uh, in his stuff, uh, particularly in this series. And there's sort of, sort of comedic scenes and so forth. Those were classics in the genre. Uh, and so anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read it? If so, what did you think? Did you agree or disagree? My eight out of ten. Let's talk about it. If you want to talk about the the ending or the comments, uh, in the uh, in, or or spoilers, let's talk about it in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? There should be a lot more of these to follow. Uh, as a reminder, the channel is named "The Worst Thing About New Books" is a quote by Jacques Joubert, a French philosopher, so that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old ones, and so. This series is definitely decades old, uh, still influential, but sometimes it's uh, forgotten by modern fantasy fans. So this is kind of a passion of mine to unearth these older works, uh, and that's where my channel comes from. Uh, and then finally, I just want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again. And have an amazing day.